For those of you in the Texas area, you know that there's a lot of rain in the forecast today. Um, so I didn't drive out to any of my usual spots. I didn't want to have to be sidelined until the rain stopped. Uh, what I think I'm going to do, actually what I know I'm going to do is head over to Seabrook and Kima, fish that little lagoon. I'm actually going to load Elijah's kayak up. Uh, we're going to take the outback off. Uh, let me get this taken care of and we'll be out on the water. So what I'm really wanting to do is just get out there and fish with the brand new custom rod that I picked up from Andrew yesterday. But check this out. Look at that. Hopefully the camera will pick up all the little droplets of rain that's coming down. Um, it's supposed to be like that the entire day, but that's why I'm sticking close to home. If I end up having to pack it in because the rain gets a little bit harder, then I mean, oh well. I didn't waste too much gas going out there. I want to see how this rod is going to perform. Uh, and because of this like light drizzle that we've got, I'm only coming out with just the one GoPro that's going to be on the action hat. These winds are really kicking right now. Uh, for the most part, this bank right over here is kind of protecting me from them. I'm going to give it a go, but I really need to get out there by uh, where the channel runs through right next to that restaurant. And there's a, a bridge off of Toddville Road. <laughs> Boy, it took a little bit of work, but we successfully launched. It's been a long time since I've been inside this little sport right here. I'm really hoping that we get a flatty. It's been a long time since I've been able to hook into one of those. Last time was there at Sabine Pass, but I wasn't able to land it. There's some big ones in here too. So, I mean, if y'all are looking to get into some flatties, get you a small kayak like this that you can just like manhandle and put inside the water and then just load everything up. Those winds are starting to kick now. That's going to be the uh, the tough thing for today. All right, putting the hoagie on. That's what this rod is mainly going to be casting. Lures inside this weight class. Right now I'm doing a four twist uni. This is 10 pound fluoro. Wet it, and then cinch it down. It's that simple. Anything less than my uh, 10 pound we'll get a trialing knot. Oh yeah. The handle being a little bit longer, I asked Andrew to put a little bit more length behind it and that is perfect for casting with one hand now. With the other one, my palm is actually right up against the blank and kind of hurts a little bit. It's still doable, but now it's like uh, my palm is completely supported by that handle. It's something to grasp onto. Here we go. One last cast with the hoagies. I've been using it for about 15 minutes and I have got absolutely nothing. I know that's being impatient, but when you only have a couple of hours, uh, you got to start switching it up and trying everything else out. So as soon as I bring this one back in, I'm just slowly retrieving it, trying to keep it close to the bottom. I'm using the quarter ounce with a three-aught hook, uh, bass assassin swimming. I know I said that was the last cast, but I can't help myself. Uh, a swimming hook in the watermelon color. A lot of you are asking me what it is that I'm using as far as like the hooks and stuff like that. So that is what I'm using. Hello, mullet. Show me where he's at, bruh. I'll get him off of you. <laughs> that guy's like, follow me. I will take you to him. All right, yeah. Let's uh, put this away, and then we will uh, pull out of bugs and bounce that off the bottom for a little bit. All right, we're going to go with the black and gold curl tail. Let's see if this bug is going to be able to get the job done. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> it felt like I got stuck. Look at this, baby. <laughs> What'd I tell y'all? 
This spot is definitely for Flatty. Sorry about the water that splashed up there. Uh, I'll wipe it off here in a second. But look at this. Nice. That's an undersize. Probably, I don't know, 13 right at 14 inches. It feels good to finally catch a fish again. <laughs> Yesterday I went to another marsh in Freeport and it was horrible. I didn't catch anything. I got one bite in eight hours and it was just horrible. Let's hurry up and get this guy off and we'll send him on his way. Mr. Flatty, get out of here, Terry. The black and gold, the curl tail bug. Oh, it feels so good to catch a fish again. Oh my gosh, it is cold. Whew, buddy, that was like no refuge from the wind. Yeah, I didn't dress for the occasion. Huh, I think I am done. Um, let's put this out of the way really fast before I end this video. I know it was a short one, but uh, that's kind of what I expected. These weather conditions are just crazy. They're really brutal. I want to thank the following people for pledging to support me. Um, with your help, I am going to be able to do some bigger and better things with the channel, and I sincerely appreciate your generosity. So a quick shout out to David May, R.A. Bortmus, Brian Cole, Faisal, Sean McEwing, and Kevin Yacker. Um, again, thank you for being so generous to me. Uh, I really appreciate that support. It helps me out. And uh, what I'm going to do with that is just basically be able to provide y'all with better content. I am cold, freezing. I got just a dry fit shirt on, and I believe we've got like 68 degrees out here right now and these winds are 17 miles an hour pretty much like sustain and then the gusts are really bad so uh, I think I am done my hands and toes are freezing and that's a wrap the wife was saying something about wanting to go to Galveston and walk around and I was just told her I'm like man we have 17 mile an hour sustained winds with like gusts up to 25 it's 60 it's actually 59 degrees now so the temperature has been dropping it was 64 whenever I launched and now it's what 50 59 degrees my goodness my skin is like literally breaking out into hives I'm that cold let's run inside the grocery store really fast to pick up a few things before we get home so that we'll have something to eat for lunch if you've never had Frito pie before, you do not know what you're missing. What you do is take you a nice, big, gigantic bowl, just like that right there. You're gonna load that thing up with some Fritos. No other type of chip can do, it's gotta be the original Fritos. Just like that, get you quite a bit. Take you some chili, go ahead and spoon that over it. If you haven't tried Wolf Brand Chili, they make uh, Hormel, Campbell's, every other chili that's out there. They're like welfare cases compared to Wolf Brand. This is the legit stuff right here. Made in Texas, baby. I'm gonna throw this inside the microwave for about a minute. Now we'll just throw on all the condiments. Get you some cheese, whatever cheese you like to use. I like the four cheese Mexican. After that, we're gonna take a little bit of sour cream right here. Jalapenos, these are phenomenal right here. San Marcos brand. So here we go. This is Frito pie. Let's make sure that that's inside the, the shot. Uh, here, let's do this. There we go. That is Frito pie right there, baby. Now, all we're gonna do is sit down, kick back, try to warm up a little bit, watch a little bit of YouTube fishing videos, and uh, call it a day. Uh, I really wanna thank you all for watching. I appreciate the support that you all show me. And uh, if you like the video, please give me the thumbs up. It was cold out there and very brutal today. Uh, got wet and that just did me in. So I had to come back here to warm up and uh, just eat some comfort food. So uh, that's all. 
thank you for watching till next time tight lines everyone